What is going on guys, this is Knucklebread here, and today we're going to be releasing Fortnite Battle Royale version 1.1. Now, there was a lot to talk about in this update. Well, let's just call this update a big ass patch. That's really what it is. I mean, the gameplay from between version 1.0 public beta and version 1.1 public beta isn't that drastic in terms of gameplay. I mean, the gameplay is the same pretty much. Granted, there's no new map edits, etc. The only real game-changing um, thing that was introduced was the platform when building. So now building battles can happen a little bit more fluidly. Now you're not just limited to just walls and ramps. Now you can actually move horizontally rather than vertically and horizontally. But anyway, guys, let's talk about what was fixed in the version 1.1 update. The version 1.1 update implemented a new way of managing the inventory system. This is all under the hood stuff. In other words, you'd actually have to look at the code to uh, see the changes, but it's pretty drastic now and then. I mean, I, I essentially rewrote the entire inventory system from scratch. Well, close to scratch. I mean, it wasn't 100%, but a lot of the core concepts that were used to manage it have been changed and have been improved to be much easier to read. And a lot of the other bugs related to the inventory have been fixed, such as the ammo loss bug, where if you had to switch to um, a bandage or something like that, you'd lose the items, you'd lose the uh, ammo type um, that you're last using. For instance, if you had a submachine gun in your one hand, you switch to a bandage and you switch back, you'd have lost all your stock ammo for the most part, unless you had like less than 240 of it, unless you had more than 240 of it. Anyway, that has been fixed. Duplication glitch involving chests and uh, supply drops fixed. There was a, there was an area of uh, standoff map edit that you could build inside. Patched. Indeed, guys, a lot of bugs have been patched. All right. Well, that being said, guys, let me talk about some of the new UI changes that have uh, been implemented. The biggest one that you might notice is that the default weapon, in other words, just your knife or the harvesting tool in this mode. There is now no longer a shader for it. Well, there is, it's just that it's transparent. I decided to get rid of the ballistic knife as I thought it was distracting and if I could get rid of it, it would allow me to free up additional uh, space to um, pre-cache more shaders which would allow for more weapons to be introduced which will be slated for 1.2 and 1.3. That being said, the elimination of that makes it a little bit more Fortnite-like because when you got nothing in your inventory in the slot, it's just gray. That's it. There's no placeholder item in the original Fortnite. So that's the maintain accuracy. There's a couple of other um, corrections. Most notably, the uh, spinning s weapon drops used to give you used to spawn the um, use the same code for generating ammo for each weapon. Now it generates the correct amount of ammo for each weapon, as it now uh, based on the weapon type, well the ammo type the weapon or item has it'll generate ammo accordingly for it, rather than using the same for everything. That's another correction there. You might notice that the shield and health have been flipped. That's how it is in the original Fortnite. And a bunch of other things like that. I mean, you could read the change log. That's pretty beefy on all that stuff. I think I described everything that's in there. Probably a few things are left out. But that being said, guys, if you're already using version 1.0, strongly suggest you upgrade the version 1.1. It's proven to be stable and such. In my, uh, I tested it for about four or five hours today, no issues with it whatsoever. And uh, basically the only issues I found were previously identified issues in version 1.0. That being said guys, well let me talk about more about the, the, the mechanics behind the inventory have been changed. Most notably, infinite scoring has been added. Infinite scoring in that if you were to say hold your first item, you could press left on the d-pad and it would go to your fourth, your uh, fifth item on the other end. Before, it would just, it, would, you, uh, it wouldn't work at all. It, it wouldn't do anything. It blocked that movement. But now it does that, so yeah, it's, just, it's nice. You can quickly get to uh, other gear in your inventory much quicker now, especially if, if you, let's just say you're, uh, you're hovering over the first weapon slot and you want to get to the fifth one real quick. You don't have to slide over five. You just press left on the deep end, bam, you're there. The same goes with the, uh, the, uh, the menu part as well, outside the inventory, such as the companion menu and the utility menu. If you were to go, uh, if you were to keep going up, you'd go right back to the bottom, then continue going up, and same going for the bottom. So that stuff's in, 
And uh, another improvement has been made to the switch weapons, which is available by pressing triangle. Basically what it does is that it switches to the next item or weapon you have, and it skips over empty spaces, unless your inventory is empty, of course. Any guys, that being said, these improvements have definitely improved the experience. I'm hoping that uh, this uh, update is laying the groundworks for the next couple of updates, which will introduce new weapons, new mechanics, duos and squads is slated for the next update. Anyway guys, that being said guys, be sure to check here often for additional updates as I expect the next couple of updates to take less time than the 1.1 update due to how big and intensive that was. But that being said guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill. And I hope to see you guys in another one of my videos and or live streams soon. Peace out guys.